Naperville Central celebrates Senior Night as the Red Hawks honor eight seniors before facing Neuqua Valley. The Wildcats look to crash the party with revenge after falling to the Hawks in two sets on September 21st. Neuqua trails 5-4 early, but Haley Stump serves up an ace to knot it up in the first set. Then the Cats jump in front of the Hawks and want to grow the lead. Central sends it back, but it gives Neuqua the reset chance, and Audrey Dumpstorff uses both her hands to keep the ball on the other side, and that extends the lead to 11-8. Although the Red Hawks quickly crawl back, and on the first try they can't get the ball over, although when it comes back, Caroline Impe is ready for the kill, and she puts some firepower on it to tie the set at 12. The points keep coming along, even with the rally on the court. Nikwa tries their best to keep it alive, and they do, but Sofia Zanka gets enough juice on the hit for the point, and it puts her team in front, 16-15. The Wildcats tied back up, this time at 23. Once they hit reset mode, it's Stump again with the point, and the blue and gold take the lead, 24-23. Set point for Nikwa and it's an aggressive possession, but once they get another shot, it's Eleanor O'Neill with the kill to give the Wildcats a 26-24 set one win. Red Ox use the second set as a new opportunity, and it starts with the point from Impe. It's 5-2 home team. Aces continue to help Nikwa, and Stump serves up another to cut the deficit to 8-5. Every Nikwa swing results in an NC bounce back, and Zanka shows them off with an aggressive kill to make it 13-10 Central. On senior night, more Red Hawk seniors jump in on the fun, so Adriana Villanova helps out the squad with a point of her own to grow the lead to 16-12. The set remains close when Nikwa is on the court because players like Emmy Chiaradona gets a point and cuts the Cats' deficit within two. Now the Hawks are in set point mode and it's McKenna Divik forcing a third set with the kill and a 25-23 set two win. Hawks keep the momentum in set three up 6-5 and Zonka adds on some more fun with a block party. Then McKenna Divik is added with more kills. Rocks have a little bit of momentum on their side up 13-8. Although this one is far from over. Wildcats crawl back once again and tie the set at 14, and then they grab the lead with the kill from O'Neill. Tied again this time at 20, and Envy relaxes and gets a big point from Izzy Confessory, and the blue and gold retake the lead this time for good. It's huge because they have a match point up by two, and Lauren Schmidtgull ends the match with an ace to cap off an intense three sets for the Wildcats. I thought we were gonna lose it in the second set, um, which we did, but it's okay because we came back the third set and we really fought for it, so yeah. I think the big message was just to clean up our side and just have high energy and don't beat anyone down and be there for each other. I think we really worked together well, and that is what really got us to um, pull through to the end because at some points it got really close and we got down. But I think um, by talking and working through like our low points, we were, be, we were able to pull through. We were so like into the hype of senior night that maybe it kind of um, hit us in a different way, but we always work hard. We're always hard working in the gym, and we're going to come back tomorrow and work even harder. and hopefully succeed.